What is good, YouTube? It's your boy, Henry, a.k.a. Double H, back at it with yet another banger. And today, I'm bringing you the best drill moves for all ball handles on NBA 2K24 and a dribble tutorial to help you apply these moves to your game along with some tips and tricks. Now, these drill moves have led me to a 96 win percent and a 73 point percentage behind the three-point line on NBA 2K24 to start the game on my 6-6 five-way phenom build. So drop a like if I help you out at all in this video and make sure you're subscribed for updated drill moves all year long. And let's get straight into this video. Now, the first thing you want to do before we get into like what the drill moves you want to equip and how you do these drill moves, no matter what your ball handle is, 75, 85, 92. Obviously, there are good badges for dribbling this year, but you kind of have to earn them. You can't really equip them. But yeah, I do have gold handles for days on this build. I do have gold speed booster. Obviously, handles for days and speed booster and unpluckable are the three most important dribbling badges. So you want to make sure you definitely have handles for days and speed booster to help you dribble in 2K24 more effectively and unpluckable so you don't get ripped as much while doing these dribble moves. Another thing that I would like to say is get Gatorade. I know if you don't have a lot of VC, I wouldn't recommend it. But if you do have VC, buying Gatorade is a good way to just have extra energy if you really want to dribble a lot longer for longer periods of times. And then when you finally get open, you have enough energy to shoot the ball. And I don't buy playmaking boosts really, but you could do that if you wanted to go extra on it and i don't really have gatorade sometimes too like i'd be playing a lot with no gatorade so you can get away with gatorade because i don't i play with no gatorade and i have a lot of vc uh the spend gatorade and i still don't like to spend the vc on gatorade so i'm in the same boat that most of y'all are in with the no gatorade thing but anyways let's get into what drills you need to equip yep we're getting straight into it starting with the drill styles you have four options so you got kevin durant that's one that a lot of uh six eight players have been telling me they like only 75 speed of ball another 75 speed of ball one Ball one is Zach Levine. Now, there's also Gabby Williams, and there's also Magic Johnson. So you got four options here, okay? Pretty sure all of them are 75 speed with ball, and they all give different animations and different speed boosts out of certain moves. And they're also slower in some moves. So I'm going to show you what all the dribble styles look like so you can make your decision on which one you like. Because honestly... I'm struggling with the decision too. Like, in my opinion, I would, well, first of all, I was using Gabby Williams for all, most of my games. But in my opinion, I'm going to go with Zach Levine or Magic Johnson on my 6 6 build. And I'm going to show you the advantages and disadvantages. So, first, we're going to show the Zach Levine dribble style. Now, these are just hesitations out of moves, basically, where like you just flick the right stick and hold the right trigger, flick to the side you're about to run to, and then just run out of it, right? So, when you mess up the timing, you'll get that animation right there with Zach Levine. But sometimes you'll get that animation out of all the moves. But that animation you can get out of any move that animation you get out of any move that animation you get out of any move if you time it right when you run out of it but there's these slow animations or fast animations like that one that you get out of certain dribble styles so that one you're about to see it right here that's zach levine so that it, it, you might not even be able to tell the difference but there's a difference right now here's what gabby williams looks like when you mess up that's what it looks like when you mess up it looks so slow right but you can still get that other fast animation but look at if you mess up like it is slow, but you can get that animation. You can get that one out of any dribble style, but I don't know. The timing is never consistent with it. Like you're never gonna consistently get that hesitate or that move out of there. Um, even if you're like you know what you're doing. Cause I basically what you have to do is you have to flick the right stick to the right, right? If you have the ball in your right hand with the right while holding the red trigger and then just run out of it. So it's just like a timing thing, but it's not consistent either way. Now, this is Magic Johnson. Look at how slow Magic Johnson is out of those moves. But you can get this cross launch move where you flick the right stick up and then run. The opposite way you get literally that's like the fastest move in the game that i've seen yet so you get a massive advantage with magic dribble style with that you know cross launch move but your moves out of simple like kind of hesitations are mad slow and then this is the kevin durant one now a lot of six eights were telling me they use this and they like it honestly i don't like this one it just seems kind of slow all around. It doesn't have like a crazy move out of it. But yeah, this was Kevin Durant right here. Let me know in the comments which one you like. Zach Levine, Gabby Williams, Magic Johnson, or Kevin Durant. Personally, I'm going to have to go with Zach Levine or Magic Johnson. The cross launch and the same size speed boost. But yeah, let me know. Now moving on to the six sizes. Now I told y'all I got y'all with every ball handle. So if you have a 75 ball handle, go with Ja Morant. But if you have an 80 or higher, go with De'Aaron Fox. Both of these are the best six size ups that I've used so far. And if, it, if you have a way higher than 85, 92, like I have a 92 ball handle and I'm still using John ja Morant, which is just a 75 ball handle. But De'Aaron Fox is good as well. I just prefer the John ja Morant six size up. But yeah, I would choose out of those two six sizes to use, but I'm personally using John ja Morant right now. Now we got regular breakdown combos. Now I'm using De'Aaron Fox. If you don't have an 80 ball handle for De'Aaron Fox, you can use 
uh, other ball handles like Giannis, uh, that's a 65 ball handle. Uh, Kane Cunningham's is not bad, 75 ball handle. Paul George is pretty good at 75 ball handle. Uh, so yeah, those are some other ones to use. But if you have anything 80 or above, use De'Aaron Fox. This is what I'm using. Now for this move, all you have to do is don't touch anything. Don't touch your right trigger. Just flick the right stick straight up. And this is what's going to end up happening. So if you flick the right stick up, this animation is going to play out. And basically the goal of this is to run out of the animation when he does a between the legs. So you see that it does the between the legs. And then I just run out of it, right? And by the way, I'm using Zach Levine dribble style while uh, doing all these dribble moves. So yeah, that's how the animation looks when it plays out. You see he's kind of just like walking backwards. This is also a good move. Just kind of just reset things while you're dribbling and isoing on somebody. And then you can run out of it as well. And it's kind of just a good move that you could start off your combos with or maybe even exit out of a combo or in between. It can, it can really go all in one. It's a good drill move to use. I use it every once in a while. That's what the animation looks like when it plays out. You can either do it. You can either run out of it early on when he does the between the legs or you can wait when he keeps doing it and run out of it that way. So next we have regular or not regular aggressive breakdown combos. We just went over the regular breakdown combos. Now, unlike the regular breakdown combos where you don't hold the right trigger and flick the right stick up for these aggressive aggressive breakdown combos you're gonna hold the right trigger and flick the right stick up okay so the regular one you don't hold the right trigger this one you hold the right trigger and flick the right stick up okay so we got four options for you guys for all ball handles trust me i got y'all for all the ball handles the russell westbrook breakdown combo is a 70 ball handle the john morant is a 75 ball handle the kobe is an 88 ball handle and the ray for Alston is an 80 ball handle if you were to ask me what my personal favorites out of these uh four are Mine is John ja Morant and Kobe Bryant. I personally use Kobe Bryant, and I'm going to show you how all of these animations play out. Now, once again, when you do these animations, they're going to play out pretty long. There's going to be a long animation that happens, and you can run out of these animations at any point in time, whether it's to the left or the right. You want to go to the opposite ball handle or to the same ball handle. So this is what the Kobe Bryant looks like. It's basically just a spam of between the legs uh, backwards. And I like this one because this animation plays out longer than the regular breakdown combo that he has and it allows you to shoot off of this because you're actually creating some good reset space off of this drill move so i mess with this one a lot especially if you have like a higher three-pointer or if you always find yourself right inside of the mid-range this is a great move to get you know farther back in the three-point line or behind that three-point line now this is the job right one this is what it looks like it has a long animation this one you can really run out of it either way whether it's the same dribble hand or the opposite dribble hand and you're going to get some good moves out of it if you iso this one's solid as well i mean these are no matter what you do screens or iso all these drool moves are going to be effective if you use them to the best of their abilities and yeah here's the job around once again the animation completely played out that's what it looks like and then you can run over to the right or the left at any point in time and speed boost out of it and obviously the higher speed booster badge you have the better it's going to be the more stamina you have the faster it's going to be you know simple stuff like that this is what the ray for alston one looks like this one's kind of crazy you know i don't know if i would use this one but it's it's better it's better than a lot of the other ones like it's pretty good especially if you you know maybe uh went ran to the opposite ball hand side after one of these moves but yeah you can literally spam all of these aggressive breakdown combos you don't really lose a crazy amount of energy with these either uh, cause you're kind of standing in place for a little bit of time while doing these moves. Anyways, the Russell Westbrook, uh, combo. This is what that one looks like. This one's not too bad. Personally, I think the John Morant one's better, but if you only have a 70 ball handle, then this is really good because you can get this Westbrook aggressive breakdown combo with just a 70 ball handle, which is low key, kind of crazy. Now the escape moves, I personally use Trey Young. Trey Young's at a 92 ball handle. There's some other good ones like Kemba Walker's basically the same at 86 ball handle. Lamella Ball's a good one at 85 ball handle. Jason Tatum's a good one at 70 ball handle. And Paul George's a good one at 80 ball handle. Now I'm going to show what the Trey Young one, one looks like. Kemba Walker's very similar. Only do the active this move is hold the right trigger and flick the right stick diagonally up opposite ball hand and you can kind of get the 2k22 speed boost out of this and you can also get a crab animation out of it so if you run out of it you can get the speed boost animation and then if you just do it one time and stand still you get the crab animation so this is a very good move and effective move to use and if you know when to use this move you can get a lot of crab animations with it and get in front of your defender and then shoot or you could speed boost out of it and run around the three-point line or drive to the basket with it and overall it's just an effective move that you need to add now for combo moves i use tim hardaway that's for a 90 ball handle though and if you have an 80 ball handle or higher but not 90 you can use deer and fox at an 80 ball handle 
And if you don't have that, then you can use Jason Tatum as a 70 ball handle, but I personally use Tim Hardaway. Now crossovers, I use Kobe Bryant. That is at an 88 ball handle. You can also use LaMelo Ball at an 80 ball handle. And if you don't have none of those, use Giannis. He is a solid one for just a 70 ball handle rating. But personally, I'm using Kobe Bryant right now. Now, when it comes to the behind the backs, we have Trey Young, Jamal Murray, and DeMar DeRozan. Good for all ball handles. DeMar DeRozan, all you need is a 75 ball handle. This one has a very good moving behind the back. Jamal Murray is a solid one. All you need is an 83 ball handle. Currently, I'm using Jamal Murray. And Trey Young, you need a 92 ball handle. This one is extremely glitchy. Not the best, like, moving behind the back, like, when you're going for threes, but... The downwards behind the back when you're driving to the basket, this one is crazy. Uh, you get a crazy glitchy animation, like a yo-yo animation from 2K18, and I don't think you can steal it. Like, it's impossible to steal the ball with this one. It's kind of weird, though, but anyways, I'm going to show you what the Jamal Murray one looks like. Anyways, that's you get, like, three different moving behind the backs when you're doing it, like... To the side on the three-point line all you want to do this is when you're running to the left for say you're holding the red sugar right and then you flick your right stick down diagonal to the opposite ball hand and then run the other way okay so yeah you also can get this behind the back right here where you're standing still and all you do is just hold the right sugar and flick the right stick diagonal down okay so there's a moving behind the back and there's a standstill behind the back. The Jamal Murray standstill behind the back is the main reason why I'm using Jamal Murray. Is it just creates so much separation. Look at that. There's just so much separation. So much, you know, potential to get a wide open three on people. Next, we have the hesitations. Now, this is another cheap ball handle requirement moves. We have John Morant, which is only at a 75 ball handle. And Kevin Durant only at an 80 ball handle. I personally use John Morant. This is that hesitation I use where I just get that mad, like, skip animation across the court and it's really effective if you're trying to drive around to the baseline or maybe you can you know cut off the animation midway through do a step back and go to the three-point line get an open three but yeah basically all you do is run to the right or left hold the right trigger and flick the right stick towards the direction you are going and you're going to get this crazy skip animation where your player just kind of skips and just gets this launch animation where he just goes all the way across the court and yeah, I really like this move. A lot of people were asking me what this was. Yeah, that's Ja Morant hesitation. So now we have the spin moves. Now, basic spin was basically completely patched. I'm using Penny Hardaway now. It's only at a 75 ball handle. And the reason I'm using it is because when I attack the basket, I can do this spin, create space and create separation where I have an open dunk. So all I do is when I drive to the basket, I flick the right stick from 12 o'clock all the way to six o'clock, depending on where the ball handles in. You go counterclockwise or clockwise. And I just create space to get an open dunk. So yeah, let me know if y'all have any other spin moves that y'all use that gets you back to the three-point line because I haven't found a spin move that actually gets you back to the three-point line. So now we have step backs. Now we have Luca and John Wall, both 80 ball handles. Um, and if you don't have an 80 ball handle, you can go with Chris Paul. That's going to give you the LeBron step back from last year with a 75 ball handle. But I personally use John Wall. If you want to get the Luca step back, the moving step back, you could equip that, but I'm using John Wall because it gives you this step back right here, which all you have to do is LeBron step back, the AI step back. All you have to do, don't touch the right trigger, just flick the right stick down, and you're going to get that. But not only that, the John Wall also gives you the Curry pullback animation where you hold the right trigger, flick the right stick back, and you get that animation right there. So there's the step back where you just flick the right stick down, no right trigger. Then there's a the step back where you flick the right stick down and hold the right trigger. The one where you hold the red trigger is the Curry animation. The one where you just flick it down is the LeBron animation. Then for the triple threat style, I'm just using Zion Williamson. You can use Kobe Bryant as well. Whatever works for you is going to work for you. You know, there's some good triple threat styles out there, but I'm using Zion Williamson. And here are some more clips of me dribbling with screens and without screens because you can dribble with both on my build and with my dribble moves. And yeah, I've been going crazy on 2K24. Y'all seen in the beginning of the video, I do have a 96 win percent on 2K24 right now. I am shooting 70% from the three-point line in the park and 85% from the three-point line in the theater. And I've been going crazy. Like a lot of people are, you know, struggling with shooting. But I'm actually locked in. Like, I'm having a really good time playing 2K24. And if you're struggling playing 2K24, whether it's a jump shot, a build, you know, the drill moves, I got videos on the channel to help you. And you're just going to get better. You know, that's some of the best video games out are video games where you actually have to get better at the game. I feel like 2K24 is a lot better than 2K23 in that sense where not everyone can do everything. People are actually going to have to work to improve at the game. And I feel like I have a lot of stuff that I could do to get better at this game too. And I'm going to try to do it as well while also pushing out 
some great content for you guys. I've also been streaming a lot. I'm going to be streaming daily on YouTube, TikTok, and Twitch. So follow those platforms. If you want to watch me live on Twitch or YouTube or TikTok, go follow. Obviously, you're watching a YouTube video right now. So make sure you have some, you're subscribed with Nodies on. Go follow my Twitch. It's literally just double H or go follow my TikTok, which is double H underscore YT. Trust me, you're not going to want to miss the streams. Like, they're literally hilarious, bro. We be talking to game chat. We be talking crazy to some people. We be trolling some people. It's some good times. It's some good laughs. And it's also entertaining to watch because I win 96% of my games. We going to be on streaks and stuff. You see the fireball in the gameplay right now. But anyways, drop a like if I helped you out at all this video. Subscribe to the channel, y'all. It's been your boy, Henry, aka double H. I love y'all so much. Grateful for all the support. And I'm out, y'all. Peace.